Jessica Knight with Superior Services is here, and it's actually formerly Superior Heating and Air. And so, Jessica, last time Dave was here, we talked a little bit about that transition. But right. give us a little bit of an overview for those that maybe didn't see that. Yeah, so we're celebrating 20 years this yes. year, so we decided what better opportunity to celebrate than to change our name a little bit and kind of encompass everything that we offer. So, you know, we took over healthy environments right. last year, so we offer all those indoor air quality solutions and we're also looking into taking over some other services as well, maybe electrical and plumbing, so that way we can offer kind of a whole home solution for right. our customers. Right, under one umbrella. Right, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. we want to be able to offer that same superior service that they get, you know, when we come in to do their heating and air or other services, you know, all the time with every service. Yeah. And as we are transitioning into a new season here, um, I think I turned my, my heat on for the first time. Many yes. people probably did. <laughs> what do we need to be thinking about as we do? You know, we're still, we're still kind of warm out there, so we're not in panic right. mode yet if it doesn't work. But what should we be thinking about in terms of maintenance at this yes. time of the year? Of course, our weather is fluctuating, yes. so it's like, okay, am I putting in cooling? Am I doing heating? Exactly. Well, you want to make sure that you test your heating. Even if you don't think you need it, test it out. Make sure it works. Right. You know, that burn smell is going to happen. Yeah. So if you don't like that smell, you can call us in, have us clean everything off before you turn it on, and that'll take away that smell. But if you you know, just want to burn it off, just crank the well, heat my, up. My daughter always <laughs> loves that smell because she's like, oh my gosh, that means it's getting close to Christmas. Yeah. So she like, she's like, I love that smell. Well, I turned mine on the other day and the smoke alarm went off. So I was like, wow, oh no, okay. let's turn that off. Yeah. You know, it works, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't need that going off. Right. Wake him a baby up. So yeah, right, right. yeah definitely just, you know, take take time to just do that. I mean, that's the main thing you want to do. And then, of course, you know, we come in, we do those preventative maintenance things, you know, to make sure that it's going to be performing efficiently for you all uh, winter long. Right, so. so for those people who have your maintenance contracts, now is the time mm -hmm. to call and get that done for this season. You exactly. do it again in the spring. And if somebody doesn't have your maintenance program, but they would maybe be interested in it, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the maintenance program is basically like taking your car in for, you know, an oil change. You know, you yeah. want to make sure that everything is running smoothly. So we clean the drain lines, you know, change your filter, check all those pressures, and make sure that everything looks the way it should. You know, if there's anything weird in there or going on or something growing or a sound going on, you know, we're going to let you know yeah. this is something that you need to be aware of. Yeah. So it's really good to have that every six months and also if you're not doing that, familiarize yourself with your own system, you know, it's like driving your car every day. If you don't really know what it feels like, right. you know, we go in and, oh, is this how it's supposed to look or yeah. sound? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that's a really good, you know, important tip. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about, I mean, you guys have been around for 20 years, so obviously you're doing something right. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your technicians and the process when they come into your home. Yeah, so the technicians really are the face of our company. You know, we have a great group of guys right now. I mean, their experience levels are all the way from, you know, a couple of years up to 40 years. You know, we've got a lot of guys in between there that are 15, 20, 25. So, I mean, these guys are great. They go in, they're very sociable and friendly. They want to help you out. They want to educate you on the things that you can do on your own to make sure it's running smoothly so we don't have to always be coming out there, <laughs> right. you know, to clean out your drain line all the time because that's the biggest call of the summer is their drain lines clogged, yeah. you know. You know, it's so interesting that you say that because we've had to do that to our system mm -hmm. a couple of times this summer and if we hadn't been taught that, Exactly. We would have been calling you and calling yep. you and calling you. So, yep. yeah. It's a good thing it's to know. It's a very good thing to know. Yeah. So, yeah, our te technicians are great. I cannot, you know, speak highly enough of them. Tell us a little bit about, I know it's been a year, but um, tell us a little bit about healthy environments and what that brought under your umbrella. Mm -hmm. So that's our indoor air quality solutions. So instead of having to, you know, refer somebody out if they have mold in their system or they have dirty duct work, you know, we can go ahead and take care of that in-house. We have those guys that are trained, you know, with those certain procedures to clean out the duct works, take care of that mold, and do dry vent cleanings as well, which as we know are, you know, big fire hazards. Yes, so, definitely. Yeah, and, and water restoration, if you have water damage, mm -hmm. you know, we can come in and take care of that as well. So it's it's a really great service. Yeah, it is a great service. Tell us how to get to you real quick in our last 10 seconds. Yeah, so we can go to the website, of course, and contact us that way. You can also now message us through Google. So if you nice. go to Google Maps, I mean, a lot of people don't know, text, yeah. you can text us. How easy <laughs> is that? Well, thanks, Jessica, for yeah. being with us. We appreciate it. No problem.